have been living in one of the coolest cities on planet Earth, Berlin. What's that yeah. been like? Uh, I I really don't know how to like canonize my experience in Berlin because it it is like completely transformed my life and like tra transformed who I am. Um, damn, it's like made me who I am, honestly. Wow. Um, like the the environment is such a free loving city, and obviously, given the history, I think they really purposefully try to push acceptance and push diversity and and push out any type of ignorance. And so it's it's such a perfect city for me because my whole life I've just been like, I don't really fit in somewhere because yeah. I don't want to fit in one group. I don't want people to think one way. And and Berlin is like, I got there and I was just like. <laughs> like, what this, like what is this place so um yeah my experience has been amazing i've been welcomed by not only the volleyball community but also the the, the regular community and the art community and so i just i feel like that is really my home did you have an idea of that before you went there or did it just come as the most pleasant amazing surprise when you arrived uh i think a bit of both i mean before before sports, I was just doing art, and so I have so many friends that I used to work with and do projects with that would travel through Berlin, Berlin or were living in Berlin at one point. And so, when when the option for me came and I and I um, had the opportunity to go, I was like, I knew that this would be a very like kind of seamless experience for me, to kind of transitioning in, but I had no idea it was going to be like. I mean, just like my wildest dreams of, in terms of community and friends and and um, yeah, uh, inspiration also. Like, I, I really feel like Berlin has validated mm -hmm. me as in a way as a person and like as, as someone that wants to do more than just sports simultaneously as yeah. um, I've really I've really been able to do both in, in Berlin. I feel like successfully to be an athlete and to stay focused and then also to like prove that you're capable of doing more than one thing and that's something that's really important for me to exist how's your german um <laughs> sehr, sehr gut. <laughs> that is better than mine i'll tell you that um, art, art's an interesting thing though isn't it i was lucky enough yeah. to be there in january because they had the european uh, olympic qualifiers there when france yeah. got to go to tokyo and um i took a camera and I had to set off from my hotel early because there was just so much to take in, whether it was like, I don't know, the beautiful architecture or the street art or just interesting people. It's just yeah. a feast for the eyes everywhere you Crazy. go, isn't it? Yeah, it really, yeah. A feast for eyes, a feast for eyes is like perfect way to say, it, I think. I mean, I, I like that you said the people too. It's such like a, obviously a metropolitan city, but it's like, you just don't get the, 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 the sense of it all i mean it can be kind of a dark place too like you see some heavy heavy stuff but also you just see like such personality and there is just like zero judgment in a way that like people really are like so diverse from from person to person that's the it's, art. it's weird so i live in east london and a lot of people in east london think they're cool but then you go to berlin <laughs> and you see you see that the people are actually cool uh, right anyway this is turning into a love letter to berlin which i'm well, totally on board might as with. well be honestly <laughs> <laughs>